Hello viewers, this is J. Balakrishna once again before you teaching you English language in the simplest way. I hope you all have been watching all our videos because our videos are known for simplicity. Easy to understand, easy to learn, easy to follow instructions. That's what you find in our videos. So once again we are back with you to teach one such important expression in English language. So today we are going to learn about gerund, G-E-R-U-N-D, G-E-R-U-N-D, gerund. It is an ing form which does not indicate any tense. I repeat, it is an ing form which does not indicate any tense, neither present tense nor past tense or future tense but very useful and very important in making some simple sentences. Now in this video you are going to learn about three such expressions which are a part of our daily routine. Almost every day we keep making sentences like that. For example, I love playing cricket. I love playing cricket. I can also tell you the same example. I like playing cricket. I enjoy playing cricket. So this is what you are going to learn in this video. How to make use of gerund with love, like, enjoy. This is subject. This is subject and according to the subject you can say love or loves or loved then this is the gerund form non-finite verb it does not indicate any tense so i love playing cricket present tense i loved playing cricket past tense i will love playing cricket future tense so this is the tense indicator not this person that's why we call him non-finite verb he is called non-finite verb all that you need to know is how to make sentences with love like enjoy let us make some more examples with these three words concentrate on these examples writing reading playing Swimming, listening, watching, driving, dancing and we can make many more ING forms like this. Writing, reading, playing, swimming, listening, watching, driving, dancing. These are gerund forms. In this category, in this video, we call them gerund forms. Now you can make use of like or love or enjoy. They come here and in this zone, you keep a subject of your choice. Let us practice first with I. I like writing short stories. I like reading novels. I like playing chess. I like swimming in the river. I like listening to old melodious songs. I like watching movies. I like driving along the highway. I like dancing to fast beats. Next example. She loves writing short stories. She loves reading fiction. She loves playing with kids. She loves swimming in her personal swimming pool. She loves listening to western music. She loves watching videos. She loves driving along the hill station. She loves dancing. Children enjoy writing sentences. Children enjoy reading comic books. 
Children enjoy playing outdoor games. Children enjoy swimming in this well. Children enjoy listening to their voice on telephone. Children enjoy watching Mickey Mouse cartoons. Children enjoy driving the battery cars. Children enjoy dancing. So you can make examples with these three verbs for any subject. Not only for present tense, you can also make examples for past tense. I liked reading. I loved reading. I enjoyed reading. I liked acting in that movie. I loved acting in that movie. I enjoyed acting in that movie. She loved listening to old songs. She enjoyed listening to old songs. She liked listening to old songs. He liked driving the car. He loved driving the car. He enjoyed driving the car. So you can use it in past tense, present tense, future tense. Please visit our farmhouse. I am sure you will love spending more time there. He may love painting. He may not love reading. She may enjoy playing with kids. She may not enjoy playing with kids. Do you like reading? This is the question. Do you like reading? Yes, I like reading. No, I don't like reading. Do you love painting? Yes, I love painting. No, I don't love painting. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I enjoy cooking. No, I don't enjoy cooking. Do you love eating Chinese food? Yes, I love eating Chinese food. No, I do not love eating Chinese food. Do you love drenching yourself in rain? Of course, why not? Who doesn't enjoy? I enjoy drenching myself in rain. No, I don't enjoy drenching myself in rain. Do you love bursting crackers? Yes, I love bursting crackers. No, I don't love bursting crackers. So in this way, you can make questions Positive, negative, statements, positive, negative. It's quite easy and simple to make sentences. Repeat, take any suitable subject. I, we, he, she, it, they, singular or plural name, like or love or enjoy. According to your requirement, like, likes, liked, will like, may like, should like, must like, you can make all changes here. Then keep on adding gerund forms. The examples are before you. You don't need any book. You need not do any boring grammar exercise. All that you need is a good number of ing forms. If you have 100 ing forms, you can make 100 examples. Take 100 ing forms, 100 into 3, you can make 300 examples. Keep on making examples more and more orally not in written form don't go on jotting down don't go on making exercises that is a very boring way of learning the language but we always insist on learning the language in an enjoyable way in an easy and simple way so do you love watching our videos yes we do love watching your videos do you like watching our videos yes i like watching your videos no i don't like watching your videos do you enjoy learning English from us? Yes, I enjoy learning English from you. Did you enjoy watching our videos in the past? Yes, I enjoyed watching your videos in the past. Did you like watching our videos in the past? Yes, I liked watching your videos in the past. This is the way of framing sentences. Learn the concept, understand how to make sentences and start making sentences on your own without depending on any grammar book. And you can use these sentences when you want to talk about somebody's choice, somebody's preference, what somebody likes to do, what somebody loves, what somebody enjoys. I like eating Chinese food. I enjoy going on long drive on a rainy night listening to soft music. Don't you like doing that? Of course, everybody likes doing that. That's all we have in this video. This is Jay Balakrishna signing off.